I invite you to do that with me this morning. Begin to declare who your God is and declare what he's able to do right here in the very midst of your lives. Come on, begin to open your mouth with us, if you will, and begin to declare the Lord's name in this place. God, you're mighty, yes, you are. And we bless you. 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 Lord, you're mighty, yes, you are. Lord, you're mighty, yes, you are, yes, you are. And we bless you. And we bless you, and we bless you. Oh, mighty are your works, oh God. Mighty are your works, oh God. And we bless you, yes we do, yes we do. And we bless you, yes we do, yes we do. We honor you. God, we honor you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We honor you. And we bless you. And we honor you. Yes, we do. And we bless you. And we bless you. he's a good God. We lift his name high because he is a good God. This morning I want to say as we are preparing our hearts to enter into the presence of the living God, I want to establish right now who we came to worship with today. I want to establish now who we came to worship with today. We came to worship with those people who are still dreaming and knowing that the Lord has promised them something. I'm going to try it again. We came to worship with individuals who have heard the Lord say something to them. And you believe that what the Lord has said to you, that he is able to do it. We came to worship with individuals today who feel like God is birthing something in and through their lives. We came to worship with you on today. Yeah, we came to worship with you on today because you've heard the Lord say something and you stand firmly believing that he who promised it is yet faithful. Yeah, we came to worship with you on today. Can somebody begin to clap your hands and say, God is able. Yes, he is. Come on and clap your hands and say, God is able. Come on and clap your hands and prophesy to yourself and say, God is able to do it. 
Come on, clap your hands and begin to give God praise because he's able to do it. He's able to do it. I came to tell about 10 of y'all today that God is able to do just what he said. The man who promised it, he is faithful to bring it to pass. For those of you who are connected with us online today, we came to tell you today that God is able to do it. So you keep on meditating on the word of the living God day and night. You keep on believing what God has said to you because he's able to do it. He's able to do just what he said.
and say, I won't, I won't give up. Because he won't give up on me. Come on, raise your hands and say, I won't, I won't give up on Because he won't. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Somebody shout, he's able. He's able. I don't care how long it's been, God is still able. I don't care when you ask for it, he's still able. I don't care what you've been doing right now in your life. Understand clearly that God is still able. Hallelujah. Come on, raise a sound in this house this morning. Because you know without a shadow of a doubt, he's a way maker. Come on, raise a sound in the house this morning. You know without a shadow of a doubt, he's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. I need some folk in the house who don't mind lifting your voices today to say, God, you are a way maker. Yes, you are. You are a miracle worker, yes you are. You are a promise keeper, yes you are. You are a mind regulator, yes you are. God, you are all that. This morning we've come to worship you. Hallelujah. 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 You made ways before, yes, you have. You performed miracles before, yes, you have. You've kept your promises before, yes, you have. And so, God, we come this morning to declare you are here. And we worship you. Hey, God, we bless your name this morning. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Somebody know him to be a waymaker. Tell him who he is. You are way maker. Way maker. Miracle work. Promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Come on and tell him he's a way maker. Way maker. Miracle work. Promise keeper. Light in the dark.
Yes, he is. Take advantage of these next few moments. And I want you to give God what you know he deserves for breaking the chains off of your life. For keeping you when you need it to be kept. Come on, lift his name right here. Yeah, come on, give God praise for what he has done for you. Who you are. Come on, worship him right here, chamber. a worship right here. Worship him out of what you know. Worship him out of what you know, what you know. Worship him out of what you know, what you know. What you know, what you know about him. Hallelujah. We bless the name of our God in this place on today. He's such a good God to us, and we certainly bless his holy name. We give him praise, we give him glory, and we give him the honor. Hallelujah. 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 That is who you are. Say, 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 that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Say that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are.
Can I get anybody to lay your hands on your heart and ask the Lord to fix your heart? Fix my heart, God. Fix it. I want to love the way you want me to love. I want to live the way you want me to live. So God created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Hurt me. Wash me and I will be made clean. Come on, lay your hands on your mind. Father, I declare in the creator that my mind is clear and free of anything that's not like you. Creating me a clean mind and a thought process that I might think it right. Yes, God. Come on, put your hands on your eyes. God, open my eyes that I might see it the way you want me to see it. Come on, lay your hands on your mouth and say, God, I want you to fix my mouth that I might say it the way you want me to say it. Come on, lay your hands on your ear. God, open my ears that I might hear the word of the living God. In this season of my life, in this defining moment, I want to hear you more clearly. I want to love you more dearly, and I want to serve you more, God, sincerely. And so, God, we thank you now that we would hear your voice clearer now than we've ever heard before. We will obey your word that we hear in advance. God, we thank you. Yes, we do. We thank you. Yes, we do. And we bless your holy, righteous name in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. Listen, I want you to hear me say this. God is indeed, he's indeed good to us. And the things that God does for us makes me say, ain't that just like God? For someone who chooses me every day, ain't that just like God? Who provides for me every day, ain't that just? Just kind of air tap somebody and say, baby, ain't that just like God? I want to, I want to now, I'm going to do a shift here because I know we, 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 have, we have other things that we're going to do, but I'm going to. I'm going to share with you what I believe the word of the Lord is for this moment and this hour. And I'll say to you that, I, I, as I always do, I'm saying, Lord, what would you have me to say to the people of God on today? And I, 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 have, I have about two or three. That's why I got my, my, my laptop today, not my iPad, because I've got two or three things in two or three ways. I can go, but he says to go this one today and just pour into you. So I'm going to obey God. Father, now. Speak to us. Open up our ears, our hearts, and our minds. That we might hear what the Spirit of the living God is saying to the church now. That we'll be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Yes. So God, speak to us like you've never spoken before. And as you speak, God, move among your people. And we will give you a response for the word that you are about to hear. We're about to hear from you right now. Our hearts are ready now. <laughs> God, our lives are so ready for you to move like never before. We've been sitting in high expectation and anticipation for your hand to do something in this hour that we're in right now. For we are your people who are called by your name. We, are, we have humbled ourselves, we've prayed, we're seeking your face, and God, we've turned from our wicked ways, and so we're thanking now for hearing from heaven and healing our land, for our land needs to be healed now. With everything that's running rampant in our land right now, God, we need your healing hand of power to move among us, and we give you praise. Your word says that you will heal the land, and we believe. And so, Father, we have faith the size of a mustard seed that we can speak to this mountain called COVID-19 and all of its variants. And we declare and decree COVID-19 and all of your variants are abated right now in the name of Jesus. We speak now to those persons who are sending the word of healing for those persons who are lying in hospitals right now, that their bodies are healed in the name of Jesus. Those who are listening to us live and they need a healing in their body, we're sending the word of healing right now. We speak to their bodies right now. No matter what the dis-ease that's trying to cause a level of discomfort, we speak to their bodies right now and call their bodies healed in the name of Jesus. For we know there's healing power in his name. 
There is delivering power in his name. And so, Father, in the name that's above every name, the name that's a strong tower and the righteous can run into that name and we are safe. The one who shed blood for us, the one whose body was broken for us, we declare in his name. And we stand in agreement this morning together saying amen, amen, and amen. Come on and clap your hands and give God praise. Let me share with you what I believe the Lord would have me to share with you this morning. I am I'm going to jump right in it. The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing. That means your faith is increased the more you hear something over and over again. And hearing by the word of God. As we approach this Going into the third month of this six-month expectation that we're in, and we've been declaring and decreeing that this is a defining moment for us. This is a defining moment for us being the children of God, where I believe that the Lord has called us to pivot. That means we're going to turn, listen at this, and make a change. Let me say this before I go further. Any business owners in here? Don't lick your hands. Don't be ashamed if you own a business. I want to speak increase over your business now. That God moves in a supernatural way. Here it is. I want to call clients to your website, clients to your phone number, clients to your resume. And when they call you, you're going to be thinking to yourself, what in the world and how did they get my number? we're going to call them forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Don't you dare think less of your business than you ought to. Don't you think that your business is over and done with because there's increase about to hit your business. Like never before. You may be doing something that somebody else is doing, but your business is going to be attractive to millions of people. And when the Lord gets you to that place, you make a commitment that, God, you brought me here, and I'm going to remember you, that it was your hand of power that got me to this place. And I'm going to remember that it was your hand, and I will obey you. So we're in this season where we're in the, a high expectation of God doing something supernatural among us. We declare that 1st of July in the next six months. So we have given our faith a target date, and we're walking in high expectation for the hand of God to move like never before in all of our lives. This is my text the Lord gave me to share with you today, and I've shared it before. Turn to Isaiah chapter number 43, verse number 19. And some of y'all can probably um, uh, uh, quote that without even looking at it. Isaiah 43, verse number 19. I'm going to read just the beginning part of that because there's something the Lord would have me to release in your life as we're at the end of the second month within the six-month period that we're looking for God to do something supernatural. I told you last week, you got to stay focused. you got to stay focused. Let me give you a revelation I got this week while you all are looking for Isaiah 43, 19. And I believe it's going to bless everybody here and online. I've been praying and seeking the Lord and believing God. Listen to this, y'all, for something that's out of my reach. So if I can do it, I don't need God to do it. But it's something that's out of my reach that's going to trans transform and change the direction of my life forever. I've been saying and declaring over this house, God is doing something real big. And I want you guys to hear me say that because with everything that we're hearing around us and all that we are confronted with, you still stand firm on what you heard the Lord say. I was, I was praying and I, I was up about 4 o'clock the other morning and I was talking to the Lord. And uh, <clears throat> by the time I sat on the side of the bed, he began to talk to me. And what, what he showed me was that he was sitting in a specific posture 
with multiple magnificent, humongous blessings for me. But the next thing he showed me shocked me. But he said, you're the one who's standing in the doorway, keeping me from releasing them into your life. Now, God, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Because what I don't want to do is, now see, if you're blocking them, that's different. I can, I can blame you. But if he showed me me standing in the way of the door, and this is how I was standing like this, like I was refusing to have the door pop open for me. And I want to help you all this morning. Unblock the door. Get yourself out of your own way from being a recipient of the manifold blessings that God has for you. So he's going he's gonna to give me, uh, he's giving me directions going into the month of September. How are we going to talk about that and get ourselves out of the way? Isaiah 43, 19. The Bible says, for I am about to do something that's all I want to talk to you about today. I am a, and I, I, y'all, I know, but the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing. See, sometimes I believe the people of God, we miss it because we don't like to hear it again and again and again and again. Because every time I hear it and I read it, I get a different revelation on that. Because I'm in a different phase and stage in my life. So he says this morning, for I am about to do something So the prophet Isaiah writes to Israel, and I believe that God is saying the same thing to us today. And so I know when we start talking about the word new, we tend to look at it as being something that we've never seen, or done, or experienced before. But if we look at it in the text, and if we look at the history of the word in Hebrew, you'll find that another meaning of that word is fresh. Some of us need a fresh hand and a fresh wind and a fresh move of God to happen in our lives. I don't know if if, if you sense and feel what I feel when I drive this way now. Something's happening around us that has never happened before. Now, 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 it used to be when I drove up the street, I couldn't see, but I can see clearly now the woods are gone. Can can, can y'all catch that revelation? And sometimes in our personal lives, we have allowed woods, bushes, weeds, and all kind of brush harbor to block what God is getting ready to do in our lives. And today we're going to tear those weeds down. Because God says, I'm about to do something. And some of us think that the the last thing that God did was the best thing. No, no, uh -uh. uh-uh. What you're about to walk in right now is about to blow your mind because you've never experienced it on this level before and in this magnitude. So he says, I'm about to do something that's fresh. Somebody shout fresh. And I I, I said, I I got three things I want you to hear me say right here because because when we're in times where we live in, in which we live now, Because we've decided to make the pivot. See, you have to decide to make the turn. You have to decide to make the change. You have to decide that whatever it is that's keeping me from walking into my best, here it is, y'all got this saying, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you people. I'm I'm living my best. What does that best life look like for you? There are three things you can do. You can either watch the change. You can cooperate with the change. Or you can be the change agent. You can sit back and watch things change. And, 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 and I said this the other week that, that I believe that the people of God will lulling ourselves into this subtle place of believing that this virus is going to take folk out of here. 
So we start saying, oh, all these parents are coming. No, the power of God will cause this virus to be eradicated. I stand on it, I believe it, and that settles it. So we can either watch the change, we can cooperate with the change, or we can be. You want to raise your right hand and say, I'm going to be the change. Because, we, listen, we have watched things change so many times. And we wish we had raised our voice at the end of the change. <laughs> but we're in the midst of it now, and so we're going to be the change. This season has taken a toll on the lives of so many people. And I believe that we need a revival to happen in the land. Turn with me to Psalm 5, verse 12. Because in this hour, I want you to hear me say where I want you to see your dial. Now, I don't want y'all, that's Psalm 5, verse 12. Verse 12. I don't want y'all to run out of here when I say this, but I want you to catch this. Psalm 5, verse 12. The Bible says, For thou, Lord, will bless I don't want you to just read that. that just, no, no. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. Here it is. With favor, we compass him as with a shield. That means surround him. With favor. I want you all to catch this this morning. Because you're walking in divine favor. Somebody sent me a message the other day that says, I declare and decree that when your money runs out, that favor kicks in. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I was sitting there looking at that, and I got to shake it with my phone. I said, God, that's a word for me. When your money runs out, that favor kicks in. Because we declare that favor is God raising up. Somebody somewhere who is going out of their way to use their power, their ability, their resources, and their influence to help us. Somebody shout favor. favor. Psalm 102, verse number 13. Psalm 102, verse number 13. I'm almost done right here. Psalm 102, verse number 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the set time is come. Somebody say, it's the set time. I need you to hear me say today that you ought to always walking around declaring and decreeing because the Bible declares that he, God, shall have mercy on Zion and her set time of favor is now. <laughs> Somebody say, it's right now. And so this morning, we start looking at walking in divine favor. We want to declare and decree that we are experiencing a sudden move in our lives at all times. Somebody shout at all times. These are some things I want to, I've got a few things I want you to, to hear me say. And the team doesn't have, have it, so if you all got your notes, just begin to write these down. I want to share with you, and I'm, I'm done, some subtly areas that I believe we're going to see God begin to move in our lives. Because there are some of us who are in the room and some of us who are online who need God to move suddenly. And it may not be you. And if that's not you, that's fine. But for me, I need God to move. Have you ever had an experience where, and my grandma used to say it like this, he may not come when you want him, but he will always come. 
See, I believe we've gotten too sophisticated off of those things and those, those, those truths in our lives. And we, we need to begin to share with other generations. Baby, he may not come when you want it. But God already knows exactly what he's going to do. And he's going to show up. Somebody shout right on time. The first suddenly I want for us to get an agreement on is that we're going to see souls coming into the kingdom of God. That ought to be all, that should be all of our desire because when we get to see God, he's going to say, how many souls did you tell about who I am and what I have done in your life? Some of us going to get it. We're going to try to keep it to ourselves. But you know what? It's just like Jeremiah said. It's like a fire that burns. And God does so many wonderful things for me. I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. My life, your life is an epistle that people are reading. And so if God has done anything for you, you ought to tell somebody else. You just can't assume that they know who he is. You got to know that they know who he is. And there are so many people outside of the kingdom of God. The second thing we're going to declare and decree that we're going to receive sudden increase. The apostle said something like this the other day. He says, people cannot have a faith for something that they don't hear and are exposed to. Because if faith comes by hearing, and hearing, and hearing by the word of God, if you've never heard it, then you don't have a faith for it. And so I, we, we want to experience sudden increases. The Bible declares that wealth and riches are where? I don't say that enough. Y'all ought to know that. Wealth and riches are where? In my house. The other sudden we're going to believe and stand in faith for is sudden healing. And we're going to lay our hands on ourselves and call our bodies healed. I got a message the other day and somebody was asking me something about healing and the medicines in Canada. I said, well, have you tried Jesus? See, we've gotten to the point that we'll, we, we will run to something else. We'll get the Tylenol before we get Jesus. We get the goodies before we get Jesus. But he is the one who made us. And so then he is the one who can heal us. And then this is what he does. He gives you a prescription to know how to stay healed. I know, I know, I know I'm messing with some of y'all this morning, but that's okay. That's okay. Because we, healing is our covenant right as believers. And so when we, when, we, when we are declaring and decreeing healing, then we want to seek the one who can heal us. Watch this completely. Y'all remember the woman who had bled? And she had exhausted all? She said to herself, but if I could just but touch. That's what you need to say when, when something tries to attach your body. If I could just but touch and they said this, tap into my healing, I will be made whole. going to be in agreement for sudden wisdom. The Bible says wisdom comes directly from God. And if you ask him for it, he will pour it on you lavishly. Watch this now. He ain't going to make fun of you for asking. You know, you ask some folk, you know, how to do something. something. What you ask that stupid question for? No, that ain't what he's going to do. What he's going to do is he's going to give you the answer that you're seeking. Somebody shout sudden wisdom. Another area we're going to be believe, believing God for is sudden resources. Because some of us just need the resources. Oh, God, I thank you. But don't let your movement be determined by your resources. Some of us are waiting on the resources, and, and then we move. Mm -mm. Wrong way. You move, and God will give you more on the way. Are y'all hearing me? You move, and God will give you more on the way. Somebody shout certain resources. Somebody shout certain resources. Somebody shout certain resources. We're going to get an agreement for God to give us certain vision. That he's going to download into us certain visions. That he might give us what it is he designs and desires for us to have. Listen to this. And, and, and if you can't see it for yourself, I talked to, talk to you last week yeah, about being focused. 
and I showed you three images. So for those of you who were here last Sunday, the very first one was very, very blurred. You couldn't, you couldn't quite get it. The second one was a little bit more focused. But that last one was clear. I need for you to get a clear vision set forth right now. Ask God to give you uh, um, an innovative way. Here it is to, to be the answer to a problem in the earth. God, I, I want to answer some problems. So give me visions, God. Give me a vision for how it is I can be, watch this, the conduit that you could use. So show me clearly what I need to do. He's going to give us certain vision. Somebody said certain vision. The other certain that we're going to be believing God for is sudden expansion. Jabez said, said it this way. Oh, that thou would bless me indeed. See, sometimes I think we say things and we don't really understand the magnitude. God, he didn't say, God, just bless me enough for 30252. Or 30253. 30 is the impossible about 30354. That's what the average should be. 30354. He said, bless me indeed. Watch this now. And enlarge. Don't, don't just bless me a little bit. And don't just give me enough for down the street. I need to be across state borders. I need to be in, in other nations. I need to be global. So God bless me in and enlarge and enlarge. And some of us got to make sure we go home and say, God, I'm looking for that to happen in my life. And some of y'all know you've been called to much greater and much larger, but you want to settle for that cubicle. You know you've been called to a greater and more, but you want to settle for that little cubby hole you sitting in every day looking at that computer, and you mad as all get out because you know you don't belong in that space. You know God has called you to more and greater, but you won't make the move. I got one that's not on my paper. God, give me sudden execution. Put it down. Sudden execution. That means that when the Lord speaks, I'm going to move. This is, a, this is so key, ladies and gentlemen, because when, 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 when you hear God say something and you wait a while, in that waiting period, you're giving yourself options. I'll give you this. this, this, this my, my daughters were out yesterday. And you don't worry about the outcome either. You just do what God says. So they were in the store yesterday. Uh, they saw this family outside. And obviously the Lord moved upon their hearts to bless them with something to eat. So they went in the store right then and they went to buy stuff. And when they came out, they couldn't find the folk. We don't worry about the outcome. We just obey God when he speaks. And I'm saying to you, when the Lord says it to you, it's at that moment you ought to act. Because you're going to talk yourself out of I got some witnesses in the house. And then days are going to go by. Weeks are going to go by. Months are going to go by. Then decades are going to go by. And, and you're still hanging on what the Lord said then. And you mad, not at God, but you ought to be mad at yourself because you didn't move when he said it. Sudden execution. Somebody said sudden execution. Sudden, here's another one, creativity. Because we can do the same thing the same way, then looking for different results. But we want to we ask God to give us a way to be creative. Listen to this, in reaching the souls for the kingdom. I'm going to close with these last few. Come on, play that again. We're going to be believing God for sudden divine connection. Listen, the right people I said this last Sunday as I close service out. God is planting the proper people in my personal circle to align with my passion to produce something supernatural. Some of us have had people come into our lives who were the proper people. But because we were still trying to do it the way we've always done it, we shut out the hand of God that was ready to move in our lives. Get out your own way. And some of us, oh God help me, cannot get to that place 
because we don't trust folk because of the last experience we had with that. Y'all, everybody ain't going to do it like they did it. Everybody's not going to hurt you like the last people hurt you. You got to trust God in this new season to give you some. And listen to this. It's almost like a person who's been divorced. And you're ready to get married again. And every person that comes up to you, you're going to match them up with the person who left you. Everybody ain't like that. Give them a chance. We're praying to God. sudden restoration. And our definition of restoration is that it's going to go back. It's not going to go back to its original, but it's going to go, go back better than it was. Let me give you these last two, then I got to give you these words. Y'all, I got a bunch of them. We're praying to God for sudden overflow. Turn to Genesis 13. Matter of fact, I believe I closed with this a couple weeks ago. But the Lord brought me back to it today. It ain't like I it, like, it ain't like I ain't got fresh word. No, I got word. But it's something about what the Lord wants me to say here in this defining moment. It's going to be key for you. You're in Genesis 13. I'm going to start right around verse number 14. And I'm closing right here. And the Lord said unto Abram, after that lot was separated from him, this is what I want you to do. Lift up thine eyes and look from the place where thou art. There it is. From where you are, notice the verbiage. He says, look up. You don't want to get what you've always got. So looking parallel ain't going to catch it. You got to get a vision for where you where you see, and where you know God is taking you. Um, you're gonna see some a lot more things around here that speaks to where God is taking us. I want you to catch this in your life too. If you don't have something posted somewhere in your life that speaks to where God is taking you. You ain't going to get there. Because you're relying on your mind to remember. He says, look up from where you are. And y'all, I have gotten this, 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 this re-energized and I'm refueled now concerning some things that I've been asking God for for years. But then I remember, you ain't got no vision, man. You ain't, you ain't, you, excuse me, you don't have any visual. The visual is not in place. So whatever your business are, put you something on your wall that speaks to where your businesses are going. If you're operating out of your house, get your building and put it on the wall. And say that building is going to be mine. I told y'all what I preached last Sunday. I showed y'all four things. That was a Maybach. That was a luxury jet. That was a luxury mansion. And what was the last one? A church. And it didn't look nothing like it. <laughs> this building we're in now. He says, look up. Look up thine eyes and look up. He says, for all the land which you see, I will give. Imagine the Lord saying to you, All that you're able to see from this point forward, I'll give it to you. One of the reasons why we can't imagine that is because we, we haven't been meditating on that thing. We haven't been seeing ourselves in that. Because we, we, we don't see ourselves prospering like that in the things of God. So what we see ourselves doing is living this prescribed life that the world wants us to live. We're not walking in the fullness of what God has for us. 
Y'all didn't mourn. You've got your name on it. Stop trying to figure out what everybody else is doing. Get in your lane. Push to the max. See, commitment says, I'm going to stay with the story long after the feeling of what I've committed to is gone. And most of us operate on feeling and not giving. That's why things are up and down. They're in and out. They're yo-yoing. Because we don't want to make any commitments. I'm getting ready to walk into a series and I'm going I'm to give you some solid things to commit to that your faith won't fail you. Get ready to walk into a, a good serious teaching. Because we've been talking about this one, but there are some things we got to do that our faith won't fail us. Now watch this now, and it'll take the tension out of your life. pray for you right here. And then we're going to get ready to go into our second phase of the day. Uh, because today I wanted to make certain that you all that we experience this is Fifth Sunday so we decided today we would do an in-reach instead of out-reach. I want to pray for you right here. Because if you're at that moment in your life where you are believing God for something more sensing that it's going to be big. Thank you. Family, turn in the right way. Those of you who are online, just lift your hands online. Lift your hands up online. Stand up online with your hands. Yes, lift them up. Raise your hand up online. Oh, because I cannot, I cannot fathom the idea Knowing that God has great for you, that I not at least expose you and bring you to the water. Now I can't pour it in your mouth, but I brought you to the water. Let me drink of it. I want to pray because a lot of us are sitting uh, on powerful gifts, powerful graces, powerful skills. Other people are wasting. I told you when I wrote this this last book, and y'all, I've had since the day it went live on Amazon. I've had a lot of different uh, subtle um, thoughts that the enemy's been trying to say to me about this book. And I said, God, and somebody asked me, "Why are you write?" I said, "Because the Lord Himself said to put it in print." We got a lot of folk thinking that, that they know how to get into the presence of God, and we still still it's turning more into a performance now. It's turning into more of a let's just, let me just please the people. One of my prayers now is God, whatever need walks into the house every Sunday, speak to it. Ain't any of you shouting and getting all the emotion and going out of here? You worse. You want to be made better. Come in here shouting and running, and, and I, I, y'all know I'll shout in a minute. But I want to teach you how you're going to live a better life. And I'm also going to help you get you some more finances in your pocketbook. Because God wants me to be blessed. Let me tell you something. I want what God wants for me. And you know, religious has taught us not to even talk about that because. You know, they start saying, when you start talking about money, you are so materialistic. I, ain't nobody said that. That's why you broke. I'm going to start walking in truth. That's why you broke. Because you're scared to do what it takes to get more of what you want. See, the Lord blesses me. I'm able to bless more people. I'm not going to sit right here and all us broke. All us. So we serve a great big God and you 
I want to show some folk I'm, I, I serve a great big God. And I don't want to just look like I serve a great big God. I want what I have to represent that I, I serve a great big God. And if you don't like it, I'm not talking to you. If you don't like it online, click, go to somebody else's page you want to go to. It don't make me no difference. But I need the people of God to understand clearly that God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to prosper in all things. He says, I know the plans. Plans to prosper you. Let me pray for you because I want to get in agreement. Honey, would you stand with me? This is my, this is my good friend. Daryl, and uh, this week we've been declaring and decreeing some things together. But this, this is my partner right here that, that when she ain't right, I ain't right. And so when we come into agreement, I shared with somebody yesterday, that we've identified that increases on our lives. And we, when, when we get together and begin to partner on other people's behalf, increase his delight. So we are in agreement with everybody who's in this room and everybody who is online. Is anybody in the hallway? Anybody outside of this room? I need everybody to come in here for just a second. I know they're doing something else, but I need everybody to come in this room who's on this, who are on these grounds. And everybody who's online, we're in agreement with you. This morning, so will you all share this 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 uh, encounter today? You're gonna be in agreement with the people you share it with. Is everybody in the room yet? Anyhow, just give me a thumbs up when everybody is in the room. When everybody is in the room, who are on the grounds, who are in the room, not yet. I don't want nobody to miss this today. coming today was not by accident. I know I know y'all heard me put the word out. You know, we got the, the deal ready. We got the game ready. And, and we're, we're blessed to bless y'all. It's a lot of stuff on this wheel. And I know some of y'all done scattered out. about 500 of them now. At least that you can see. But my wife and I are going to get in agreement. That your dreams, your desires, your goals, your businesses will explode. And if you don't, if you don't have any of those going for you, we want you to dream again. Father, in the name of Jesus, we get in agreement. Right now, for your supernatural hand of power to move in the lives of your people. And Father, your word says all things are possible for those of us who believe. And so today, God, we believe you that you're able to do it. Whatever that big dream is, God, we believe that you're able to. Listen at this, God, you can afford it. can afford it, God. Whatever, whatever it is, God, that you've been speaking and showing unto us, God, you got it. And we believe that because we are your children, you will give us good gifts. God, release it now. Hey, glory to God. Release it now, God. Ubashika. Release it now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, release it for your people now, now. He said in your word, if we stand praying, asking and believing, whatsoever thing we shall ask for, we believe by faith, it shall be done. So God, release now. In a sudden way, those things into the lives of your people. 
We thank you now for increases, for bonuses, for unexpected checks coming in the mail, for inheritance that are ours to be released. God, we thank you now for it happening in all of our lives. And God, today we will lift our hands and give you praise. For we do believe. We thank you. We worship you for it now. We honor you. I do it for your people. I ask you, God, to release it now into their lives. For some, God, it seems to have been a, a long time coming, but we stand by faith today knowing it's done. God, we will remember that it was you who did it for us. We will turn around and bless somebody else. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we call souls now into the kingdom. Father, for the contract that's been held up, I pray that this is the closing week. contracts that are just sitting on somebody's desk. I pray that this is the week for closure. And Father, there is an inheritance that's been just sitting around. I pray that it reaches the address this week. Thank the Lord for where he's brought you to, but thank him for where he's about to take you. Take him for, thank him for where he's about to take you. Thank him for where he's about to take you. Thank him for where he's about to take you. Well, there are some promises that he has with your name on it. Thank him. There are some harvests about to be released. 
from some seeds you have sown. Thank him. things that you have made happen for one, God is about to make them happen for you. God is about to make it happen just for you. Listen, those who have had their mouths on you, God is about to shut their mouths down. You just keep on obeying God, for he has prepared a table before you, in front of them. You just keep obeying God. This week, I want you to walk with your head up high, your chest stuck out with the level of assurance that the hand of God has moved in your life, and everything attached to you, it wins. Everything attached to you, it wins. Everything attached to you, it, everything attached to you, it wins. Everything attached to you, it wins. Everything attached to you, it wins. declared and decreed over this house according to Amos 9.13 that the blessings of the Lord will overtake us. And I've been hearing a lot in the last few days where the blessings of the Lord has been overtaking people. And if you're at that point in your life where you say, well, he's not talking to me, I want you to hear me say this. Keep getting up. Keep getting up and going to bed. Just keep getting up and going to bed. Because God is doing something supernatural in your life. Just keep laying down and getting up in the morning. He's doing something supernatural. Just keep rising every morning and laying, because he's doing something supernatural. Just keep rising and, and going to bed. Just keep on doing it because he's doing something supernatural in your life. He's doing it. you are here or if you are online, hmm. if you are here or if you are online and the Lord himself has spoken to you to partner with us, if you're in the house, just slip your hand up, but if you're online, click that button, online. If the Lord himself has spoken to your heart, connect with us this way. For those of you who are clicking online, we're going to make sure we remain in touch with you. That you might continue to be a member here at Victory Tabernacle Church International. Bless the Lord today for the hand of God that's moving. It's good to know Him. It's good to know Jesus in your heart. Confess Him with your mouth. Confess Him with your mouth. And believe. Believe Him in your heart. It's good to know Him. It's good to know Jesus. You gotta know it's good to know Jesus in your heart. Confess him with your mouth. Confess him with your mouth. And 
and believe him in your heart. Believe him in your heart. Anybody know it's good to it's know him? It's good to know Jesus. Anybody know?
Amen. 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 You can keep it going. Keep it going. In the spirit of worship. In the spirit of worship. For two seconds, we are going to pray and ask God that that which Bishop spoke over our lives, that it returns to him exponentially. He and his household exponentially. I know, I know this is our offering lesson. I know we do the confession and we talk about the tithes, which is a tenth we bring before the Lord. But this morning in the spirit of worship, we're just going to keep it simple. I will declare and decree that God is planning the perfect people in our personal space with the proper process that will align with our passion to produce something ridiculous, something unheard of, something non-traditional, something miraculous. Thank you, God. This here is our offering lesson for today. Thank you, God, for your presence right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Deliverance is taking place suddenly. Chains are being broken now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just lift your hands and worship the Lord. I feel his presence in this place. We want to honor his presence. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. We'll just worship him right here. And thank you. And right now, we just want to thank him because of who he is. I need, I need for some of you all to put a worship in for the kind of week you're about to have. Come on, put a worship in here, right here. Salvation comes. The deliverance comes to your to your family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Bless the Lord.
we thank you. the Lord today for deliverances that took place, chains that were broken, burdens that were lifted off of you, breakthroughs that happened today, and sudden moves that happened among us today. We thank you. We thank you. He knows exactly what to do at all times. For those of you who are joining us online, we thank you so much for being online. We pray that as you are in your homes and your respective places right now, that the hand of God is moving right where you are. And we thank him for moving. to say that today we came to worship today and one of the things that we are so very mindful of is that we're all living through this season. Um, but I want you all to know that we can go through this season and still have joy. go through this season and still have joy because the Lord himself is our keeper and so we thank him on today it's time for us to if you have not done your seat so and I know he did the lesson this morning uh, if you want to text to give that number is 404-996-0077 if you want to put your seat in the ground on today we'll we will have the container up front. You can just drop your seat in before you leave on today. For those of you who are online, you can go to the website, click on that button, put your seat in the ground. But whatever you do, do not leave these kinds of experiences without putting a seed in the ground. Because every time we sow a seed, It's almost like every time you go to the doctor, he gives you your next appointment, your follow-up. And so every time you put a seed in the ground, you're saying, okay, harvest, I'm scheduling you right now. Every time, every time, you're scheduling the harvest. And when that harvest comes, I'm a witness to share with you on today. It is more than what you put in the ground. So whatever you do, don't leave here today without putting your seed in the ground. We're going to shift now into our early afternoon activities. And for those of you who just have to leave, we understand. But what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to have a little laughter and fun as the body of Christ together. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we've got food prepared for you today. It's not a meal in terms of, you know, you going to some place to sit down. But it'll hold you while you're here. Amen. It'll hold you while you're here. So we're going to shift now. I don't know. My team is looking at me. I don't know how we're going to shift, but we need to shift now and uh, get prepared for the afternoon. For those of you who are online, um, we're going we're gonna to have you to participate. Amen. And then at some point, because we, 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 we're, we're in the house and we're going to be doing some things that require you to be here, I think we're going to stay online if you want to stay. 
But if you have to go offline, then that's fine. The Lord bless you as you log off and sign off. But whatever you do, don't you sign off without putting your seat in the ground. Amen. Amen. So we're gonna the first thing we're going to do, can we cut all the lights up in the house? Yes, Lord, we thank you and we thank you. Yeah, let's turn them all up now so I can see who's out there. Amen. Amen. I heard most of y'all. I just can't see all y'all. Amen. All right, so we have some persons who are going to be stationed in different places. If you want to take advantage of sitting around the table, you can. Or you can sit where you are because in just a moment we're going to um, we're going to have persons to make sure that you're served in your area so that we can um, have a little afternoon snack. And if I were you, I'd kind of hang out because we got a lot of blessings Amen. Amen. to give away on today, and you have to be here unless we do something online. The very first thing we're going to do: um, Are we still online? Yes, we are. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spin the wheel right, for the first person who joined online this morning. Uh -oh. And according to my record, that was Miss Bernie's pick. <laughs> so All I right. know she's not in the house, but so we're going to spin our wheel. And um, whatever gift it lands on, we'll make sure she gets it. Wow. All right, uh, Bernie. <laughs> Miss Bernie, you're going to be treated to a spa, and you're going to be uh, treated very nicely for a one-hour spa treatment. Amen. All Amen. right, all right. So she was the very first person who joined us online today, and uh, we're also going to give the first guest who showed up today. Online. Do we know who was the first guest to show up today? All right, let me know who that person is. Miss who? Miss Banks. Miss Deborah Banks, we're going to spin the wheel for you this morning. And whatever the gift lands on is going to be yours. All right, so we'll spin the wheel. So QB is Queek Bling. So you will have an opportunity to shop with Miss Queeta. All right. And you can, you can spend up to a certain amount. And she sells jewelry. So where's my, where are my envelopes? I'll make sure she gets the envelope. That's Miss Banks. All right, our first guest in the house, Miss Banks on today. All right. So we have... We have we've done our first two gifts, and what the team and I has what the team and I have done is we have developed a rap. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna teach you all a rap today. It's all about laughing and having a little bit of fun. All right. So team, y'all kind of get in place because we're gonna teach y'all this rap um, this morning. And the intent is that you hold on to the rap because we're gonna do it again before we leave. How many y'all can rap? One, two. How many of y'all can rap? Three. Is that Miss Vanessa hand up over there? So she can rap. I ought to give you the mic. I ought to give you the mic and tell you to go for it. <laughs> all right, all right. Team, we ready? Let's go for it. We got words for us? Because all of us are getting ready to do, to do this rap. Come on, team. We ready? We ready, gang? Let's go. We ready? Uh huh. Y'all come on up here. We ready? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out why when y'all heard that y'all didn't do no movement. Y'all didn't do no movement. Y'all just kind of like. Now we're going to start it one more time. 
When we started this time, I need y'all to get with this. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Here we go. And. I'm walking in divine favor. Blessings increase. What God has for me belongs to me. Ooh. Ooh, favor. I'm walking in divine favor. Blessings increase. What God has for me belongs to me. Uh. Ooh, favor. I'm walking in divine favor. Blessings increase. What God has for me. You got it. Here we go. Kaden Williams. Okay, I got it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Kaden. Uh, I'm 12, and uh, as he told y'all, I act. And so, I want to <laughs> I want to come up on here and I guess give y'all some motivation. So, I'm able to act because first of all, I have God. Second of all, I have parents who, you know, support my dreams. And third of all, work, how I work. You know, and um, but you always got to have a balance. You always got to have a balance between the work you put in and God, your relationship with God. So um, 
Sometimes I'm up at 12 a.m. reading scripts. I'm outside for five, six hours dribbling the ball because I also want to go to the league. <laughs> and, uh, but when I get inside, I always make time to talk to them. And if I want something, you know, I ask them, of course, but you can't just ask God and only talk to them once a year because you want something. You have to build that relationship with them. <laughs> you have to build that relationship with them that, you know, he basically doesn't want to be used. You know, it could work the first time, the second time, maybe the third time, but when he sees a pattern, you know, your blessings won't come. What you want won't come. Oh, my gosh, I can't talk. But um, always, always have a relationship with God. Never put anything earthly above God. Not, not, not a human, not acting, not none of that. Never put anything above God. Because once you do that, well, guess why? Your blessing is going to go to somebody else. So, hey. But um, I guess that's it. And uh, so build your relationship with God. We you want something, ask him, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm Caden. See y'all. Caden, you can get. Yeah. Yes. You can give it to her. He just got back in town uh, last evening from um, an assignment in California. And uh, on his way out, the Lord would allow me the opportunity to pray with him as he was traveling. And uh, I'm super proud to know him. And uh, I'm thankful to God because God has a lot of great things in store for him. Come on, give God praise for Katie. So this is how we're going to do this. We're getting ready to bless the food so that we can be served. The ladies are going to be at the table, and they're going to make sure that your, your plates are served. So you won't, you won't have to touch anything. Just tell them what you want. They'll serve it, prepare it for you. And then while once all of us have gone around to get our food, we're going to play a game called Kahoot. You're going to need your phone to play that game. All right? So we got some music going, and then we'll start. Are oh, we going to do it now? Okay, she said we're going to do it now. All right, those persons online, y'all give us a couple seconds. Um, so, so pull your phones out. And uh, we're going to pop on the screen now where, where you need to go. We have somebody who's, who's working that. So if that's you, come on and handle that part for us this morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. It is time for us to play a game. Get your phones out, please. I am excited about this game. All you need to know is to know a little word. And then know a little bit about Bishop and what he's been speaking on. So that's all you need to know. Get your phones out. out. Go to Kahoot. And I think it should say join a game. For those of you all that have not played Kahoot before, um, the, the, the purpose of this game is, number one, to see what you know. Number two, to see how fast you can answer. Like I tell my kids in school, just because your name is not one through five does not mean you did not get it right. It just means you are not fast enough. Okay? So the purpose of this game, number one, is to get it right and to see who can answer the fastest. Okay? So get ready. Oh, and you have to read on your own. I'm not going to read it. So for those, for those online who possibly can't see it, are we good to, for those online to see this, yes? Okay, thank you. No, okay. you just meant enter a pen and just hold tight. Ma'am, I'm going to give it, it's going to be, yes, ma'am.
off of each location. For those that are online, please make sure that you log in. We don't want to forget you. We hope you can see it. If not, the number is 291-0161. We'll wait on you. Um, if you all want to come get me. Thank you to those online for joining in with us. We're going to begin in just a second. Still logging in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, friends that are in the line, I ain't trying to rush you, but I don't want you to miss out. Oh, they in.
So I got to tell y'all what's going on. See, it's, some, it's something happening behind the scenes. So somebody said, since y'all in line, they're going to get started so they can have a chance to win. I'm not going to keep it a secret, and I'm not gonna, but I'm not going to tell you who said it. Okay, so just know, somebody said that I should get started, and I might go on and do that. So for those of you who are online, I want to say to you, this is a good time for you to grab you some lunch. And uh, those of you who are logged in, I see you're logged in. Uh, ooh, we thank God for you all joining us. Those of you sitting behind me, can y'all wave at them online? Yeah. It's about to happen right now. Look, there it is. There it is. There it is. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're glad to have you all. So while you all are having your lunch, you better come back to your phone so that you can do this uh, Kahoot with us. So back to you all. We're ready to get started with the Kahoot. Thank y'all. I'll be back in a minute. me to go ahead and go with it. We're about to get started with Kahoot. Remember, it's all about who answers the fastest. Top three. Are we ready? And the winner will have an opportunity to, to play our V Plinko. Oh, nice. So you're just not doing this. You're going to win something. All right. Sister Brianna, we are ready and go. What gospel gives an account of the wise men's visit to baby Jesus? Pick the correct color. Oh, so the Bible scholar just going to stand in the back and just blurt out the answer? No. No. Correct? Looks like only nobody. It's time to start back Bible study. Nobody. Nobody. It looks like we're all on the same accord. Very good. All right. What was Paul's original name? And on a couple of more to answer. by the shape. They, they have shapes. So go by shape is what I'm told. Y'all gonna have to help me figure it out now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this much. We're gonna go with who winning. Come on next. Z Zion. Yeah, uh, uh, next. <laughs> For the remainder of this
this year, we have to be careful how we see it, say it, and <laughs> all of them are sow it. You have to pick the right sow it. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's see who's winning. Somebody need to boot Zion. Yes, more, more Josh and Caden. They have booted Zion. Thank you. Caden's on fire. The book of Psalms contain patches, passages written by uh, David and Jesus, David and Isaiah, Solomon, Esther, and Joshua, or Moses, David, and Solomon. If you think about the names, you can eliminate two. Good job, friends. Let's see who's winning. Oh, somebody booted Zion. Thank you, Kim. Not thank you, but... You know, my bad. Which method did Jesus usually usually use when he taught? Lecture, PowerPoint, sermon, parable. Waiting on a few more, I guess. Oh, good job, friends. Good job. All right, let's see. Oh, Josh! Josh is booting more out the way. All right, all right. Which of the following is not one of the Ten Commandments? Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Treat one another as you would like to be treated. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God and honor your father and your mother. Is not. Treat one another as you would like to be treated. Y'all probably trying to figure it out. I'm so sorry. But thank y'all for participating for real. I really do appreciate it. Which prophet announced a great drought to King Ahab? Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah, Malachi. Good job, friends. Eleven of you got it right. Let's see. Uh, uh oh. Josh is still at the top. More Zion, SJ, and Kim. All right, next. What two females have books of the Bible named after them? Well, at least somebody said Esther. We know that's that's <laughs> I'm sorry, which one is this? I mean, okay. What can you? Oh, well, I, I'll read them to you next time. I got you covered. Now, I might read a little slow, but I got you covered. Good. Rachel? Rachel? Y'all know better. <laughs> All right, Zion is on fire. 
All right, next one, I'll read it for you, ladies. All right, we're halfway there. The Apostle Paul had plans to preach the gospel as far as what country? Greece, Egypt, Spain, Rome. Y'all just get him, right? I got it wrong, too. Now, now we need to get Josh out of here, y'all. We need to get him. We need to get him out of here. Next one, we're ready. <laughs> Which book of the Bible depicts the early church in Jerusalem? Luke, Revelation, Romans, Acts. Which book of the Bible depicts the early church in Jerusalem? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Very good, uh-oh. Okay, Caden. All right, we're ready. Why wasn't Moses able to enter the promised land? He smashed the Ten Commandments after the Israelites sinned. He was too old to make the journey at 120 years, years. He did not follow God's instructions for providing water, or he was afraid of the people living in the land. I'm sorry you all can't see, but thank you for still trying. My, my, my. Hold on, which one? But that's what I was saying, it's the shape. You know, I'm sorry, you didn't hear me say it. I'm so sorry. Go by the shape, y'all. They fixed me a long time ago. Thank you. And that's probably why y'all wasn't getting it. Y'all cheating. All right. I've got to read. I'm sorry. Which books are all found in the Old Testament? Nahum, Ezra, Nehemiah, Philemon, Psalms, Proverbs, Titus, Zephaniah, and Haggai, Gen Genesis, Genesis, Jude, Micah. Which books are all found in the Old Testament? Very good, friends. Uh-oh. SJ is on fire. All right. Which books are all found in the New Testament? Ecclesiastes, 1 Thessalonians, Philippians, John, Romans, and Micah, Ephesians, Mark, Jeremiah, or Hebrews, Galatians, and 3 John, 3 John. I, I tried... Uh-oh, three seconds. Good job, friend. All right, let's see. Oh, my gosh. I mean, Josh is more, you are right there behind him. <laughs> All right, next. The scripture that Bishop has been meditating over is Psalm 19, Psalm 9, Psalm 1, Psalm 91. If you were paying attention. For those that are not playing, if you want to get more, you can. Good job, friends. 
Somebody's listening, Bishop. Oh, oh, Morg has moved. Josh out the way. Good job. Good job, friend. Good job. I mean, I still love you, Josh. The title of Bishop's first book is Penetrating Ideas, Penetrating Thoughts, Thoughtful Minds and Grateful Hearts, Thoughts of a Man. Uh oh, it's getting a little test in the back. Good job, friends. Um, ha 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 ha. Thoughts of man. I think somebody's trying to be funny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Kim is back in the game. What is the correct order in which God created things? This is a lot. Day, sky, water, land, vegetation, stars, moon. What? What you need? I'm sorry. It's either blue or uh, the triangle or the square, because that's a lot. Because I know it's either the triangle or the square, because it's a lot to read. I just know it's all with day. Good job, friends. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Getting a little heated in the back. Yeah, ooh, come on, SJ. All right, next. Almost to the end, friends. Our 2021 church theme is the year of rejuvenation, the year of revelation, the year of restoration, or the year of preparation. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Now, y'all get this in your emails. What's different on the screen? Oh. Oh, Miss Troy said she would have whooped y'all had she had it right. Oh, well, they went too fast, but Josh is now booted Morg out of the way. And he. <laughs> oh, let's continue. Two more. Which Bible character is responsible for rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem? Isaiah, Jerubbabel, Nehemiah, Ezra. Oh, I hope you got it right. Oh, I hope they got it right. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> I knew a lot of you all would put Nehemiah, um, but that's not it. Next, let's see. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She's left. Next, please. Uh, and pause. Commercial announcement. We thank you so much for joining us today at Victory Tabernacle Church International. It was an honor and a privilege to serve God with you on today. It was so good to see your beautiful and handsome faces. And we thank you for joining us. Amen. All right. She's almost there. And last one, friends. Last one. Oh, okay. Josh, you. That means they all got it wrong. Before Jesus was crucified, he appeared before the Sanhedrin pilot Herod. Herod. Okay, Herod, Caesar, Pilate. Pilate, Caesar, and the Sanhedrin. The Jewish priest, Pilate, and Herod. Hold on. Good job. Oh, wow. All right. But, no, no, no. Drum roll. Third place is Mark. Give it up for Mark. Second place is Kanan. Give it up for Kanan. First place is Joshua. Let's give it up for Joshua. Thank you all so 
much for playing the game this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
I move? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's it. So she made it real simple for all of us. We ready? What we looking? Yeah, she does. Yeah, you need one. Cut mine off. She does. I I, I don't know why Zion up here whispering because. <laughs> Y'all find us some music to do our own dance too. Yeah. <laughs> 
You got more than one winner? All right, where's my wheel spinner? Okay. So, Miss Uwewa. We're going to spin the wheel. All right, we ready? Spin the wheel, baby. Okay, so she'll redeem her prize in the back. Now we're going to no, spin the wheel for the oldest member in the room. Mother Watson saying, me, y'all looking around. <laughs> Mother Watson said, y'all can stop looking. <laughs> we're going to spin the wheel. So the 
the shopping spree, am I right? I think the shopping spree is for you to go out on the product table and you're able to, am I correct, ladies? Okay, you're able to go out on the product table and spend up to $25 of, of items on the shopping spree, on the table out front. <laughs> Mother Watson, who's the youngest person in the house? Between 18, between 18, between 18, you know, he got to be 18. Between 18 and up. Josh, how old are you? All right. Come on, spin it. Let me hold this wheel because you're about to tell how we spin it. We got to use this thing again. You got to be unbroken. You ain't on the prices right. <laughs> I've been spinning this wheel ever since we got it. And they never did this. <laughs> That's another quick bling. Who's that? <laughs> Josh? You'll you redeem your gift in the bank. All the little babies who are like 13 and under to come kind of stand up for and I have a gift for you. I'm just going to give you a gift. Your parents are going to love this gift I'm about to give you. 13 and under. What's you? 14 and under. Come on. Anybody 15 and under? All right. I'm, we're going to give you, we're going to get, oh my goodness, it's coming, it's coming. So all of you all will get a free ticket to go to Urban Air. So you guys will be able to go and jump as much as you want to jump and have as much fun as you want to have. So they're going to give you your tickets in the back. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to count the little baby right here. Six, okay. So we'll make sure you guys are going to Urban Air to jump and have as much. And if your parents need a ticket, in, we have to figure out how they're gonna get in because I've never been before. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna be patronizing and doing that. So we thank them for uh, allowing us to get some tickets to send you guys to Urban Air. All right, all right, all right. Who now? Okay, if the adults are not jumping, they can get in free. All right. All right, so we'll, get, we'll make sure. All right, you guys have a seat. We'll make sure you get your tickets in just a minute. All right, got one more. I'm just going to give them away now. Who can tell me, I'm gonna, and my family is excluded. My family is excluded, yes. My family is excluded like my mom and my sister and my daughter. I believe Ursula is excluded too. <laughs> no, I'll leave her in there. Who can tell me how many years I have known Lady Brenda? <laughs> Tasha, that's how many years I've been married. Uh uh, she told you. Forty-three. I ain't that old. You said thirty-three. Are you are you guessing? It's thirty-three. I, I just told him that the other day, so he remember. Come on, let's spin the wheel for him. <laughs> so you're able to go to the table out front too. You you get your envelope. You go out to the table and spend twenty-five dollars on the product table outside. All right. Woo. All right, here we go with another one. I'm just going to give them. We're doing the giveaways. I got some more to do. We're getting ready to play bingo, too. And you can win playing bingo. I'm just really. Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Oh, this is going to be hard to tell. Who 
who can tell me without thinking what year our ministry was organized? The date. November 3rd, 2001. I'll spend for you. So you'll you'll get your you'll get your um, certificate, but that's dinner for two on us. All right. Yes. Okay. So if you're sitting at a chair and you look under your chair and there's a ticket under your chair, let me know. Don't look at just the one you got your experience in. Look up under your chair. If you can't get up on it. Zion. Look up under your chair. Now all the saints claiming all the chairs. They claiming all, claim, I, just claim them. Josh, where you pull that from? Over there? Okay. Where? All right, where we pull it? Who got, who has, who has tickets? If you have a if you have a red ticket, stand up. I'm told. All right, Miss Vanessa, Zion, and Josh. Everybody, check chairs. So wow, so if you have a ticket under your chair stand. All right, while we're, while we're, while we're redeeming these tickets, I want to say this. So we have all ticket holders need to be standing so I know who I'm looking at. So the flowers on your table today, uh, Miss Barber, you're going to take one home. Uh, Miss Charlotte, take one to Miss Babb. Miss Sarah will take one home. And I had the four person in my hand. It'll come at you. It'll come at you. All right, everybody who has a ticket, you're standing, yes? All right, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all? All right. Who wants to spin? No, no, I mean, who wants to do the spin with you? Who has a ticket? No, 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 that's what I'm asking. If you have a red ticket, do you want to spin or plinko? You want to spin? Spin? Plinko? You want to plinko or spin? You want to spin? You're going to plinko. <laughs> All right, we'll start right here. We'll spin. What does that say? Next. All right, so we've done two. Yeah. yeah you can go faster because I got my foot on it now. Third time, you're not going to get it. Dinner for two. All right, make, yeah, they'll make sure, yeah. All right, who's next? Miss Quita. Spin for Miss Quita. I'm sorry. I didn't thought you were paying attention. AMC. AMC. All 
All right. AMC, Miss Queen. All right. Who's next? Zion. Two, three. Okay, Zion. Do we have? Oh, we have to spin it one more time. Okay. Okay, so we have a chef that has agreed to provide a cater, a private catered dinner for two. Last one is Josh. Yes, where is he? I'm sorry, Miss Vanessa. I'm sorry, Miss Vanessa. I'm sorry. We're going to spin for Miss Vanessa. Again. I'm going to tell her what gift I want her to have. What did it say? Oh, that's the Atlanta Police Department. <laughs> you get to have your record check for free on us. So you will receive a set of AirPods. So they'll, they'll give you your card, uh, your AirPods. So we one more. Gosh. So Josh, so Josh, so Josh, so I'm available for dinner tomorrow. I'm available this afternoon, tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, so, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to ride with you. You got, you got the gas card, so I'll be available for dinner. Just text me whenever you're ready to go, okay, after 3 o'clock. All right. Everyone should have a raffle ticket. Everyone should have a raffle ticket. All right, we have a raffle ticket. Everyone has your raffle ticket? Honey, this is what you love to do. So come on and pull the raffle ticket. Everyone get a raffle ticket. Everyone get a raffle ticket. Free. That's what I wanted. Audrea, that's what I wanted. For those of you, while, while we're preparing for the, um, for, the, for the raffle ticket, for those of you who would like to carry food home, we do have one table that still has, I believe, all of the food that we have left on it, and we do have some to-go containers. Do not feel like, oh, I don't want to. Please take the food. Amen. Please take the food home with you today. So we have a raffle ticket, yes? 
All of you have a raffle ticket. Let me see. Because once we call the numbers, oh, I ain't got one. I want you we all have a raffle ticket. All right. So everyone who wants to. It's, it's right there, baby. I think yours is right. Give me hers, Renika. Yours is over there, honey. <laughs> we'll do two of these. Two? Yes, ma'am. Come over here, baby. All right, here we go. And the winner is 071560. All right, spin the wheel. Okay, so Van Gogh is um, it's an exhibit where you can go in and see all the artwork. It is absolutely fabulous. And since she won it, her parents will be able to go. And <laughs> they're, 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 they're able to enjoy the experience. No, but that, that's the one. That's the <laughs> so that's Van Gogh. And for those of you who have never heard of that or never ex ex you've never seen it, go online and type it in. And it's a lot of beautiful artwork that's out there. The exhibits are fabulous. So that's a, that's a, a ticket for two to go and experience that. Okay. All right. All right. The next number is 071. Five. Four, five. All right, we're gonna spin the wheel. Come on, Okay, so this is an opportunity to go to the axe throwing. It's, good. it's one right here in McDonald's, so that's a good experience to go. I can't, I'm not quite sure what's, the, what's the, the thing in there, but it is for the axe throwing here in McDonald's. <laughs> and it is new. We do have, no, we're good for right now. We do have, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to online so that I can see, am I, I'm good right here for online? Okay, for so those persons who are online, I need to know who's out there so we can spin the wheel for them. So we've already done two for online. We're going to spin the wheel one more time. Let me know who's out there. Who? And who else? Okay. Okay, she said put fires up. It look, looks like they, they still know. Okay, there it is on the screen. All right, here we go. So who else is online? Just All right, if you're still with us online, I want to know who's still out there online. Trellis is still out there. Who else? That's it? Trellis and Bernice and who else? Shirley Ellis. Okay, I see Miss Kim saying me. We're gonna we're gonna spin the wheel. Tell them I can see them online if they'll just make a note of who's out there online. They can hear me, okay? So for those of you who are online, please make sure you you are letting us know if you're out there, Zion. Thank you, Zion, for not being online. Thank you, Rashid is out there, okay? Kim Rock, Zion, Lady B. 
So we have Kim, Kim Rock and Trellis and Miss Shirley. Okay, I'm going to drop Plinko for three of them. Trellis, Miss Shirley Ellis, and Rock. May I have Plinko chips, please? Plinko drop. It's the Plinko drop. We need three of them. Three of them. Yeah, we're going to drop three Plinkos. So we're going to drop three Plinkos uh, for them hanging out online with us. I can drop them if you want to. So this first Plinko drop, you said Miss Shirley Ellis, Trellis, and who else? Right. I'm going I'm to drop this one way up here for rock. What color? Green. Green. Yay. So that is, oh, yeah, that, that's green. That's good. That is a, um, a gas card. All right. I'm going to drop this one for Miss Shirley Ellis. Blue. And drop that one for trellis. Blue. So we have two blue. Two blue. Very good. All right. We're going to hear a spoken word uh, this afternoon. No? No words. All right. We're going to play a quick game of bingo, and then at the very end of bingo, we're just going to begin to um, do a lot of spinning for, for everybody in the room, okay? So if you want to sit at the table, that's fine. If you want to put your bingo card in the chair, we're going to be passing out the cards right now. We're passing the cards out now, okay? We're passing the cards out now. You want to stay there and do it from the microphone over there? Okay, right here. So we need to make sure we need to make sure that we that everyone has some chips. Is there anyone who does not want to play? There are gifts at the end of this one too. All right, so everybody gets chips, and everybody gets uh, a card. So Joshua, if you can help me pass out cards and chips, please. I'm going to regroup now. Just give everybody some cards and some chips, please. What are we doing online? What are we doing online? We're still good? All right, so for those of you who are online, thank you so much for joining us. We're glad you're online. We're just going to play a game of bingo. And then after that, I think we're going to uh, dismiss ourselves. So for those of you who are going to be playing, please make sure you get your chips and your cards, and uh, we'll do a nice game of bingo. If, if, okay, if you have more than one card, that's fine. So as I was reading, as I was reading the um, instructions on bingo yesterday, I learned something about bingo that I did not know. In all of my years of playing bingo, I never knew this. And for those of you who knew it, then that's good for you. Don't so talk about somebody didn't know it. Don't be trying to talk about how I didn't know it. What I learned yesterday was. So what I learned on the, on the instruction card yesterday, which is probably we're going to do one of these. You can make a shape and win bingo. You can do, you can fill the two corners and get bingo. You can do an X across the card. See, we've just been playing bingo one way. And so when I read the, when I read the card yesterday, I was like, oh, we can do various ways. So we're going to play a game of bingo where we're going to complete just the corners. Let me see a card. So I'm going to do these right quick. So, so when your corners are filled, you can say bingo. 
Say we together. So that's one with I'm gonna try one more time. We're gonna we're gonna complete we're gonna play corner uh, bingo. Four corner bingo. So when all your numbers on the four corners are complete, you can holler bingo. Okay? And so then if we have time to do a second game, we can do a letter. So we do the letter L, you'll go down here and go across. And then if we do one, you can do one where you don't include free. Okay? So I learned a lot by reading the instructions on yesterday. It's good to read the instructions. You can find out a whole lot. So we're going to play four-corner bingo right now. All right? And so what she's going to do is she's going to call numbers. Listen at this, ladies and gentlemen, rather swiftly. So look at your cards. If the people at your table talking, do like I tell my boys and girls in school, tell them I'm trying to listen and learn, so please be quiet. It don't ever work like that. All right? She's going to go swiftly as she calls the numbers. And go. S eighty eight. Remember, we're playing four corner.
So this is how we're going to spend this time. If you spend on something that we've already given away, we'll probably go left or right and see what it is and do that gift because we're, we're, we've got a lot on there that we've already given out. So, C session is you get a 30 minute coaching session with the bishop <laughs> as a coach. That's nice. And the coaching session is, is centered around family, marriages, uh, and worship. So, you get a 30 minute free session. Yes, Lord. Your coach is ready. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> you win, would in that one. <laughs> All right. So we have we have just a few more more items to do, to win. That was a little bit challenging. We're gonna do a little bit harder. We're gonna make the letter L this time. Make the letter L all the way down and all the way across. Make the letter L all the way down, all the way across. So if, question, yes, ma'am. May I see a card? May I see a card? Let me clarify for the people who want to get very technical as if they don't know what the letter L looks like. And that they came out of school like twice. Down, boys and girls, and over is letter L. It's not here, here. It's down B and over here. Oh, my goodness. If you do a lowercase, that's straight down bingo. No, we're not doing that. We're, gonna, we're doing letter, not that, that, whatever that line is. Down or horizontal. Down. Hor horizontal. That one. We're not doing Ooh, that. Oh, I'm powerful. We're doing the letter. Okay. Mm. Is this how you do God? I'm like, Lord. I'm like, I'm glad he God, not me. No. We go down right thank here and across, okay? So that's another thank you. No, seriously, thank you for asking that question. So we go down and across, okay? All right, and she's going to read rather swiftly again. Uh, and so we're ready to go and go. Oh, my yes, gosh. I-19. No, 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 I'm good. Thank you. N37. Oh, this would be somebody win right here. Let's see. N44. Swiftly, they say. N39. <laughs> B13. <laughs> o65. B7. G fifty five O seventy four O seventy three uh, N thirty eight N thirty five G forty seven I twenty one B ten G forty eight G fifty six I twenty <laughs> I twenty six G sixty O sixty two Man. Oh, 
Sorry, guys. In 43. Somebody's winning thing is on the floor. B8. Okay. In 34. Ooh. B6. O72. You're so kind. Thank you. I25. Come back some. Uh, B2. Uh oh. Okay. O63. G. G58. Not yet. Okay. Uh, O71. Oh, oh. Y'all got me. Okay. O66. <laughs> I, I can, uh, okay, I got to B15. <laughs> I-18, B-5, do you have it? Oh, now you, you, they'll get you if this was real. Uh, N-31, yeah, they get him. Uh, G-49. Wow. N33. Mm -hmm. I hope we got all the letters and numbers. O68. This is close, y'all. G52. Uh oh, that was going to be something. I-27. I think this it right here, y'all. This it. This it. O-64. Oh, that one it. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I-64. Mm-hmm. Uh, N-33. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I'm coming, 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 coming. What color you need? Let me see. Oh, G-46. Okay, not quite. Okay, here we go. This is it right here. B3. Oh, man. N36. N45. G54. Okay, O70. Oh, y'all making me nervous. 70. O61. Uh-oh. G50. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. G51. Oh, y'all making me nervous. <laughs> Uh-oh. Y'all ready? I y'all need some more chill. Y'all better go get them. I seventeen. Y'all, we almost through. This game is serious. Um, anybody got some chips? They ain't sharing chips. Uh oh. They. I mean, if you just put them on the letters that you need. Okay. I-22, G-53, uh-oh, 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 uh-o
G59. Y'all ain't no more G's. What y'all need? The letter B. Okay. N32. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here come a B. B9. You know what? I knew it was going to be you because you stared me down. Okay, friends, we're ready. Bishop's going to handle this piece for me. Oh! My. Okay, I can tell you what. All of G we call. All of G is called. I don't know if I have an N38 yet. It should be red, Bishop. It should be red. I don't have N38. What, 54? Yes, G54, yes. I'm sorry, all G is good. See? Okay. Y'all, this game is intense. I'm coming, I'm coming. So, I'm ready. Y'all, listen for my voice. It's another B. To my voice, B11. She did say bingo. Say bingo. She did. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This is normal. With this, with this, with this kind of, this is normal. So we're probably going to disqualify them to keep on, right? I was about to say, because I'm going to keep calling. So which one, which one, which one of y'all is going to be? Okay, they say the room, keep. The room, the, the, the room says keep calling. What are we going to do? Uh, let's keep calling. They, they won. I guess the room doesn't want you to win. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Y'all, I got another B. My nerves is bad. Y'all ready? Oh, that was a new one. Oh, never mind. He gave me a green one. Oh, 75. <laughs> what? It's like it looks like our win is just not winning today. And so I must continue. Winner doesn't want it. I must hear it from his voice. No, let me stop. So what are they? Okay. What, what, what are we doing? It's up to you, Bishop. Yeah. Bingo, bingo. But I got to hear him first. I'm not going to just take Got it. I just got it. 
Do you all remember, anybody in the room remember when we, when we used to have Christmas parties and we would play the white elephant game? And you would go to the person who got a gift and take their gift? So Josh, that means that all of your gifts would go on the table and people can choose from what you have. <laughs> you what? <laughs> he said he'll give this one away. He's okay. not going to do that. So he says, I'm taking my bingo. You're taking your what? You, so you, you're going to do your bingo? Okay. And the baby. Right. What? <laughs> I thought you were looking right at me. <laughs> So you want to spend, okay, call yours out, and we'll call yours out, and then, then we'll, 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 uh, we'll finish this round, and we'll get a third winner. So you'll keep your chips on. So you, so you, so you, so you, you, Jason, and, and. So we have one winner here, one winner. The baby won? Oh, I'm just going to give you another ticket to Urban Air, baby. Yeah, I'm just going to give him another ticket to Urban Air. I mean, that settles that. I'm going to give the baby something he won't. I mean, that is true. I mean the baby, the ba the baby want to go to Urban Air twice. I just give him another ticket to Urban Air. So I do that. And I give all of them another ticket to Urban Air. I mean, yeah, so they'll go two times. All right, so we got one winner. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll go one more. We'll, we'll complete this round to get another winner. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna. Okay, y'all, this is. She's this she's it. gonna complete this. So she she you want to do plinko? E either one. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna finish this round, and then we'll we'll let her do the plinko. Whoever wins the next one. What y'all need from me? But I don't think I got. Are right, y'all ready? Oh, 69. Y'all didn't have it in the way. Oh, 67. Charlotte, I can't do this with you. Now, Charlotte, she, she, got, she has G and O for sure. Now, Charlotte, Charlotte, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me, now, let me hear your numbers. Because you good for it, Charlotte. I'm ready. You did that. Y'all give it up for Charlotte. Okay, so Audrea and Miss Charlotte, you are, we're going to do the Plinko drop. You can come drop on your own. If you want somebody to drop for you, it doesn't matter. Come on, baby. She'll drop. Come on, sure. You all did a fantastic job. Thank you for joining my bingo. So she's going to drop the Plinko up, up on the stage, baby girl. So I think that's it for, let me get my team. She's going to do hers. All right, that's it. So... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, while, while they're Plinko dropping, let me let her finish this. Cause blue. Okay, she got. Oh, Woo! That's from Miss Charlotte, the blue. Is there anyone online that we have not done a spin or a plinko drop for? 
while, while we're doing that, I want to say this to, um, along with getting ready to dismiss us as we're going to our next destination. So today is also, today is also our open house for our youth ministry. And if you go, Miss Siobhan, stand please. She'll be working with our youth ages four to eight. Okay. Y'all need to live in that. So on your way out today, if you want to go down the hall here to the right, I'm sorry, when you go down the hall out to the left, the last two rooms, one on the left and one on the right, they're all set for our children. And then the first room is still under construction. But next Sunday, ages 4 to 8, will check in out here in the lobby, and they'll be having their own experiences out there. So bring your children next Sunday. If you got to drop by and pick up some neighbors, some of y'all got a lot, a lot of folks that y'all know, so bring them on. Bring their children four to eight. Don't talk about day nine. Can they go? No. Four to eight. Day three, can they go? No. Four to eight. Okay? So they'll be down that hall next Sunday. Uh, ladies, on your way out today, there are flowers on the table, so all of you can pick up one or two and take them with you on today. So there's some lovely roses on the table. I think that's it. So this is our third, okay, this uh, fifth Sunday. The next fifth Sunday, we'll do another outreach. So this was our inreach. I think, I, think, I think healthy ministries should do outreach and inreach. And what inreach does is what we did today, where we, where we do these things in the house for individuals. Any questions, any comments, all hearts and minds are set on clear and blessed. All right, so there are, there are some plates in the back. The ladies are prepared to fix them and, and serve you. Uh, the cookies today, where are they? So we have cookies today uh, made by our in-house chef. Yeah, so... I think that's it. I've done all the ladies who I said we're going to get flowers on the tables. Please make, please make sure you get your arrangements. Take them with you to our guests who came and stayed. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Those of you who are online, thank you so much for hanging out. I think we served everybody online too, yes? Thank y'all for hanging. I know it was a long time online, but y'all at home chilling. We're in the church working, so thank y'all for being online. All right, listen, y'all have a great week. It's been real fun hanging out and doing this with you guys. Y'all have a great week. So stop by and get you some food.